Hello you amazing human beings, how are you? I hope this finds you well. I have not done one of these plan with me videos in a really long time but I'm excited to bring them back because I've really missed doing them and I always find them really fun and I love to hear what goals you're setting yourself for the month as well. So I am on the floor because Christmas tree behind me, I thought it added to a touch of December joyfulness, especially considering we've had the tree up since the end of November. I have my snuggly electric blanket on the floor with me as well, sitting on some cushions. I have my weird Christmas drink of choice, which is a J2O cherry and something and spice. It tastes like cherry syrup um, and it's, I don't know what hell you can see, but it's glittery in the bottom of it. And I also have a rubus and fig tea to honey, rubus, honey, vanilla and fig, I think it is, um, tea to keep me going. It's my favourite tea, it's a Twinings tea, but it's one of my favourite teas. I like a lemon and ginger and I don't mind a peppermint either because this girl can't do caffeine. <laughs> so I have quite a bit to get through because I haven't done a one of these for three months and I've been keeping all the goals for the last three months on my notion so let's get into this okay so I thought I would share with you that I've given my little notion home a makeover a facelift whatever you want to call it I've had a bit of a rearrange on it and I'm much happier with the layout for it. It works much better for me. I will show you a little clip of me rearranging it. It took a while to get it in this way that I like it, but I'm much happier with it now. It's a lot more streamlined and straightforward for me to use. And it makes me happy. And I'm really glad to be using it again. I don't use it every single day, my Notion, but I use it pretty often. So I'm splitting this video into two parts. The first part is um, my Notion setup, basically, for the month. And the second part is basically breaking everything down afterwards. So this video basically starts with me going through my journal and um I always start in my journal it's my favorite place to be okay <laughs> don't judge me but I look back at the month and what I plan to do and what my goals were and if they were a success or not and I know I do that in my notion as well but then I start brainstorming some new goals and I do this generally on a bit of paper and then I put that into my Notion and then spend some time in my Notion. And then, as I said, the second part is then me breaking down what I'm actually planning to do for the month and how I make all that work. So if you're interested in that part of the video, I've done it as a separate one because I didn't want the videos to be too long. So here's the fun part now. We're going to get into my Notion. I really, really am happy with my Notion. So I... I'm just going to start my screen recording now. So this is my updated Notion. Um, I Like I said, I'm really happy with it. I've streamlined it a lot more um, and just moved some stuff that wasn't getting used frequently to uh, different sections um, of my notion and so my homepage is much more streamlined and um easy to manage and use and look at <laughs> basically because it just made it simpler for me so let's just quickly go over the home page basically so i have a weekly task section here which is my get to do list um which i haven't been on top of actually ticking things off really um in this because as you can see i've still got writing things on here which i've actually done but 
you'll find out more about those in another video. Um, I have a get to do list, which I haven't really been paying much attention to, to be honest, because um, it needs updating and sorting. And also because I kind of moved everything over to this um, table instead of having it in a separate page. So I need really to copy a, lo a lot of things over in this into this table now. And then under that I had, I can't remember what these were for. I think these were for October and I've done those to be honest. So we can just check them off and then I'll probably erase them and I don't need them anymore and just need to be there. Then in the center, I have my intentions up and affirmations. Previously in videos you'll have seen, if you watched earlier in the year, I would redo these every um, month, but I decided that I didn't enjoy having to come up with new intentions and affirmations every month. So I just kept the ones that appealed to me and that I would do, I would repeat the most there. Um, so obviously the worst thing you can do is not write, so keep writing. There was always some form of that version on my intentions and affirmations form. Um, so as I said, I've kept it there. Underneath I have um, the moon update because I, until recently, I wasn't having periods and therefore I was tracking my cycle via the moon, which was interesting to say the least. And then on the last side here, I have my, I broke this down into business and personal. So I have my personal focuses, um, which were like what I've been reading, my goals, my reflections for every month, which is a new one, and my books, which I think is a new one, maybe, I'm not sure, here. And then there's my business side where I've got offerings, social media, content, my learnings, and I created an end of business end of week business reset to help me uh, reset my business at the end of every week. And then right at the bottom here is we've got a weekly planner which needs updating a bit more because uh, of changing the way I do some things and what I do and all that stuff. But this is my rough weekly plan. Um, so we've got my general, what my week looks like, which is a standard Monday to Sunday kind of plan but I'll be honest that I do not follow this to a T because my husband works retail so he gets different days off every single week he doesn't get the same two days off and he does not get two days off together so when he gets a day off I try and spend the day off with him if I can if I don't have anything that is urgent or is an appointment scheduled in or anything like that so this does get moved around a lot and I'm currently taking a break from doing my podcast and from doing um blog posts and I'm spending more time on my YouTube channel for the moment so this needs to be updated really um and my content is obviously like I said my newsletter which is moving to Substack for 2024 YouTube videos not doing the blog post and podcast and YouTube video so I'm trying to aim for two YouTube videos a month a week at the moment then I've got stories which I haven't been doing on Instagram and my social media which again I have not been doing I haven't been spending any time on Instagram to be honest it's just not been working for me it's just not where I want to be so um this get to do list was originally oh god I can't remember whose template it actually is if I can remember I will link it down in the box for you so you can have a look. It was a free template that I've just edited and customised and stuff and it still needs some work from me so I can follow that more easily and um, use better basically because I found this so much easier for my planning <laughs> when I use it. And then the main part is over here in the personal focus and the biz HQ settings. So um, we'll go with goals because that's what we're here for, isn't it? So 
my goals page has also had a bit of a workaround, a bit of an update. So my yearly goals is over here now. And this, sorry, yearly intentions, not yearly goals, yearly intentions. Um, and this was just, you know, to have some guiding words for the year, basically, which, you know, I've tried to work towards still, but haven't been like a main focus. Um, then I have a quote for the year that's just, you know, kept me going one part at a time, one day at a time. We can accomplish any goal we set for ourselves by Karen Casey. And then I ha created a Great Things Happened in 2023 board, but I haven't been really good at updating it. Um, I haven't finished October's and November's. On the left here, I've created a shortcuts which literally is just giving me space for five um goals so i don't you know overdo it and whatnot so as you'll see down here at the bottom this is my december's goals so these are november's and this was october's goals so october's goals when I was looking at my year of goals, my 23 for 23 goals, which was so stupid in hindsight, um, because the only ones that I've worked on are looking at are the top, like five, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, <laughs> six goals. So it gives me something to think about for next year. So I could, I'm already starting to think about my goals and things for next year. And um, so one of my goals for this year, and it is every year, is to read 200 books. And I was literally just having a conversation with a friend, a writing friend, uh, recently about how I managed to read 200 books a year. I don't watch TV. <laughs> I don't watch any of the channels. And I don't watch a lot of Netflix or Disney Plus. I spend a lot of time reading. I think I probably get in um, maybe four or five hours in an evening of reading. And that's not saying that I don't get some extra reading time in a lunchtime either. Um, so yeah, I can get anywhere between like six, to four hours a day in of reading and that makes me very happy and that is good for my mental physical and emotional health so that's how I read so many books also I'm a pretty fast reader I think now I'm just saying how many hours I spend reading um and on a day off when we don't I really have much planned I will I can read a couple of books in a day um I don't do that as often now because I like to spend a bit more quality time with my husband and he doesn't game as much anymore. So there we go. My husband doesn't game as much anymore. So I went into October realising that I was really, really behind on my 200 books goal this year. And that if I wanted to reach that goal, I needed to up my book game. So I set the goal that I had to read 30 books in October. And I think I've written 31, but I actually think if I look at it, I, I can't remember if it's this month or the following month. But one of those months, I think I read 37 books. So I definitely upped it. And my secret to this is that I actually have quite a few. I think I had like 25 books that were only 40 or 50% of the way through um, read and so I think about 10 of them, I I don't even think it was 10 actually, <laughs> I think it was maybe about seven. I, over the past two months, I have finished. Um, so I've still been reading a lot of new books, well, new on my, been sat on my Kindle for a couple of years, but I've still been reading a lot of non-started books, basically. Um, but one of the ways that I thought I could reach this 30 book goal was to 
you know, I went through my phone and realised that I had like tw about 25 um, books that were at least 30-40% started and not finished and I had quite a few that were at like 60% and 80% and 70% and etc. So I went back through and I've finished a few of those to help me reach that count. Um, <laughs> and then we were talking about word count. In October I hit 40,000 words on my project MJ and my book and we also repainted the kitchen. We didn't do the bathroom but we repainted the kitchen which was such a pain. It was really bad because we did it in October so it was probably not the best time of the year to paint either. Um, I had created a journal on here. I've done all the prompts and everything for it and created the lined pages and everything for it but I didn't finish it so I didn't take it off. Sell for feel good blueprints. I didn't do that because a bit of fear and self doubt and stuff ruled that kind of thing as well. Because yeah, November was reached twenty seven books, which I did. I have a start. I have an Elvis paint by numbers, which is for my husband's grandma, um, which is going to be a Christmas present. So I've been working on that. Um, it's not going to take me long to finish that. And then November I finished the first draft of Project MJ, so spoilers <laughs> if you're interested in the book that I'm working on, my first non-fiction book. I also had an idea because I've got quite a few Notion templates and um, journal prompts and things like that to create an all access pass for a Black Friday offer. But at the end I'm still tempted to do an all access pass at some point, maybe next year in 24. But the thing was that I didn't want to do it for Black Friday. I My emails, my business emails, like not even like shopping um, emails, I got bombarded with um, small business emails. And not even small businesses like, you know, um, Etsy kind of businesses. I got um, bombarded with a lot of business owners, like business coaches flogging <laughs> a lot of stuff which made me feel like I really wanted to un unsubscribe to a lot of people. Um, so that put me off putting out my all access pass for a Black Friday offer. And then I still had the create the journal. It should have been finish the journal, but I still didn't do that one either. So um, to read 200 books a month, my monthly goal should be 17 books a month. So that's my goal for this month is just to read 17 books and my math is really bad guys because I'm actually uh four books away from reaching my book goal <laughs> my 200 books this year I need to finish my Elvis painting because my mother-in-law is coming to visit um on the around the 20th-ish of December and so I need to have my Elvis painting finished to give to her so she can take it back home to to gift to um my husband's grandma for Christmas. Get ready for Christmas. We are in the process. My husband is way ahead of me this year for Christmas. He's literally got one Christmas present to buy to finish Christmas shopping. We put up the Christmas tree the last weekend of November so we got the Christmas tree up even earlier this year. As you can see, it's behind me. It's all very lovely. Um, there was another one that I can't remember what it was, but it was another um, personal-ish goal. And then my businessy ones are literally um, to finish my journal so I can hopefully get it out this month and to get through Project MJ, the second draft of Project MJ, and to work on my short tiny mini course Zen in the Inbox which is a mindfulness course um about it's not necessarily about emails or being in your inbox but just about embracing a bit more mindfulness into your everyday life so that is December's goals and I can tell you that for my main goals for this year obviously my write a book I have finished the first draft so technically I have done this um the I'm working on my second draft right now and so I kind of like do I put this as done because I've just put write a book so technically I have written a book it's you know going through the drafting process now so yeah journal 200 times this is the first time ever that I have put in 
as a goal to journal a huge amount of times um and I've been doing pretty well August I was really really ill in August I got COVID for the second time I think it was and I was really ill um so I journaled once which is not surprising and I journaled a lot in October and I journaled quite a bit in November 24 times 21 times I don't think I'm going to be able to journal for 30 days in December because my average is generally you know around 20-ish yeah somewhere around like 17 20 -ish page at uh, 20 times a month which is pretty good really um however freaking how many pages does I do I journal <laughs> like this is insane like at the beginning of the year you kind of expect it because you're working through your goals and things that you're planning for the year and you, the vision that you want to bring to life for the start of the new year or you know worries that you're dealing with that you're bringing into the new year that you want to work through that's just me and then you know another 40 pages and then 34 pages and then 30 pages in September 36 in October and 42 in November <laughs> I um wrote some notes I was looking at um I had some thoughts and was looking at I was reading an astrology book and I took some notes and wrote some thoughts about that and I know that was about five pages of that so yeah kind of like you know it might not be a lot of entries but it's a lot of pages so maybe next time I might go for either 200 times again or I might go for how many pages but it's been fun to track my journal in progress um read 200 books so we'll have a quick look at this so literally like I said I'm now four books away but in um October I read 31 books so I did read 31 books in October um and I when I put in a reread it means that I've read it before but not that year so I've read that book in 2022 I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure it came out in 2022 or 2021 I'm not sure but yeah and you'll notice a lot of this is um quite a big bunch of this is Kindle Unlimited so I rent it and then send it back once I've read it and there are a couple of rereads and there are a couple of new to me authors which I found through Kindle Unlimited but the way I manage to read so much is also because I read fiction I primarily read a lot of fiction and I can maybe get through um a non-fiction book a month um so my 99 percent of my reading is fiction so for november i read 37 books um so that was pretty awesome um so that was definitely way more than i anticipated as i said i think this month was i had quite i did quite a few rereads this month as well because I kept being stumped on what to read and what to not read again still quite a few Kindle Limited and some new to me authors so um November was a really good reading month and very quickly the year I'm at 196 so I'm far away and I think I've read three already in December so yeah I'm gonna leave my 12 books until the end of the start of January when I do a kind of like a goal recap and the only one like I started doing this I didn't manage to finish the 21 days of Pilates because I got Covid yeah the 21 days of Pilates was a bit of an epic fail and that's my goals and I've already started thinking about and working on next year's goals. Some of these will obviously be repeated. So then very quickly we've got my books which you'll have just seen. I've got my whole reading list. I didn't realise when I started using Notion that the best thing to do would have been to put them all in one table and then categorise 
by year and then I could see how many times I read, read a book in a year. This might be something I either start in 2024 or I try and put it all together for 2024 but currently I've just listed how many books I've read a year and I'm missing half the book list for 2020 because I think it's in my Google Sheet. My Feel Good Reflections is um, a bunch of reflection questions that I ask myself and uh, help me look back on each month in a really nice way. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that or having that as a template please do let me know because I'm happy to share my templates because I really do like my templates so I need to fill that out my books so I have my word count tracker um, for my different books and projects and things so there is <laughs> project MJ and then I have outlines for each of my books and a shortcut link to the word count tracker in each book outline. My offerings I converted into a table so I could have a better view of it. I don't like this, this needs to be sorted out properly. But it's sort of like an ideas table which all this is going to change for 2024 because I've decided to try and simplify things in my business a bit more. I've got my social media ideas, but like I said, I don't really use Instagram anymore. I'm barely on it. So part of me is thinking about I'm going to be converting over to Substack properly. So part of me is thinking of maybe using <laughs> Substack notes as kind of like, for some quotes and things and then I can just repost some of that stuff onto Instagram um, and that's just a full brainstorming idea of stuff and notes and outlines for blog posts and all sorts of stuff. My learnings is one of my favourite places so this is where a lot of my human design learning is. I'm looking at doing some mindfulness training in 2024 which is really exciting so I definitely want to try and finish my journal therapy training first then the end of week business reset as well which I think I'm gonna make this available um in my substack so when you do the paid tier in my substack sort of a sneaky little thing for 2024 there's something coming soon so that is pretty much what I've got for my Notion Planner and what I've been working on. So if you have any questions about using Notion, please feel free to drop them below. I really, really enjoy using Notion to help organize things. And as I said, I'm helping me work through stuff. I know I need to work out my cross overs a bit better with um certain boards and templates and tables and things um and if you want to see some other things that i have on there just let me know but honestly that's everything that's on my home page is what i use notion for everything that isn't on my home page isn't something that gets used a super um huge amount so yeah that is my notion and they're my goals for this month but let's see if I can actually do them. We know what your goals are for December are you kind of like it's December my only goal is to enjoy Christmas and that is it then you know what I fully support that <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to share with you my goals in 2024 in January. I wish you a brilliant Christmas and a very happy new year if you don't watch any of my other videos and you come back for the notion planning in January. Bye!